Hey, what's up guys? This is Soul Sniper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new FG42 that was implemented this morning when Update 11 dropped for Hell Let Loose. So I was playing as a sniper in this game, so you can see here I have the scoped variant of the FG42, uh, but it's a semi-auto rifle, which means it can fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. Um, okay, so I think the, the weapon model looks great in-game. It, it feels big, but it doesn't take up your whole screen when you're running around with it. Um, there's a lot of detail in the weapon model. Overall, I'd say it's on par with the rest of the weapons in the game from a visual standpoint. Uh, you'll notice that with Update 11, they overhauled the scope optics, so you no longer have that weird sort of visual bug where the crosshairs appeared on the screen before you even looked through the scope. Um, which is nice to see. They did, however, do away with the picture-in-picture -picture concept, so you no longer see, you know, outside of your scope while looking through it. But in all honesty, um, you know, if they weren't able to implement it in a way that both looked good and functioned well, then it's probably not worth keeping it in the game. Um, so while you do lose a bit of peripheral vision due to the outside areas of the scope being blacked out, overall I do prefer this, uh, this new look to the optics in Update 11. So that's a good change there. I also like how it's kind of got that dusty, scratched look again to the scope lens. It's not like to a point where it's distracting, but it's a nice detail that kind of adds to that grittiness and immersion in the game. In terms of how it handles and performs in game, I really like it. The scope has a four times zoom, which makes for a fantastic mid-range option, as opposed to something like the Car 98, where the zoom is almost too great to the point where those mid-range shots are kind of hard to hit. Um, but yet, in close quarters, it still feels pretty damn effective because, you know, it's a semi-auto and it fires as fast as you can pull the trigger, so it can deal a good amount of damage. And I never felt like I had to hit anybody more than once to kill them, so, uh, you know, the TTK feels on par with the other weapons in the game. Uh, at range, it feels pretty solid. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be hitting those long-range shots as easily as the Car 98, but that's kind of how it should be, more of a mid-range weapon. With 10 rounds in the magazine, you can definitely deal a lot of death without having to reload, which is nice. Um, and not having to cycle the bolt makes it a pretty damn powerful weapon overall. So I'd say this weapon's going to wreck a lot of people on maps like Carentan or St. Miraglis, where there's a good amount of mid-range combat going on. Whereas maybe on maps like Foy or Purple Heart Lane, it might not be as effective. As far as sound goes, I'm pretty happy with it. It's got a nice, loud, punchy crack when you fire it. Got him. And it's kind of on par with the more recent uh, weapon audio upgrades they've done to like the Thompson and whatnot. So. Um, they did a good job there. Overall, Update 11 has brought some really nice new sound updates, particularly the cracking sound when bullets break the sound barrier whizzing by your head. It's a lot more terrifying and scary, something more in line with, you know, post-scriptum or squad. It's got that more intense sound like you just cheated death as opposed to this weird, wispy, you know, sound they used to have in Hell Let Loose, which is something that I think the game really lacked before. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like to be suppressed by something like an MG42 with the new update, so uh, that that's great to see. Anyway, overall, I think depending on the map, I definitely see myself choosing the FG42 over the Car 98 when playing Recon. And historical inaccuracy aside, I think it's a nice addition to the game. So anyways, those are my first impressions of the new FG42. Maybe my opinion will change over time, but that's that's what I've got for you guys. I hope you guys get a chance to get your hand on that uh, sniper variant of it. And uh, we'll see you on the front line. Thank you guys for checking out the video. And if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And hey, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have your support. All right, we'll see you in the next one.